Right, welcome back to another video on this channel. Jesse Marsh has just been dismissed as Leeds United manager in the last half an hour or so. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be discussing in this very video. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be giving you, first of all, my thoughts on whether or not it was the right decision. Second of all, where the new manager can take them and what next is for Leeds. And third of all, the big question, answering the big question, in my opinion, will Leeds United be able to scave off relegation this season? So, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Starting off, of course, like I I said was it the right decision to sack Jesse Marsh and relieve him of his duties at this moment in time and in my opinion even though I think it's a little bit harsh in terms of the fact that Jesse Marsh you know what he was a likeable guy and obviously you know likeable guys don't necessarily win you football matches but I did like Jesse Marsh I think he added a little bit of character to the Premier League and I think he kind of paved the way a little bit in terms of you know getting rid of that stigma for American coaches in the Premier League that of course Bob Bradley left in his wake when he left Swansea but overall I think it's no denying it was you know the right decision I think the writing was on the wall for Jesse Marsh at Leeds for a hot minute now and I think it was just a matter of when and not if to be fair he was going to be sacked Leeds are obviously on horrendous form it's mad because they started off the season so so well if you think about their first three games they were really high and flying up the table 3-0 win against Chelsea even though Chelsea are a bit shit as you can tell but nevertheless they started off the season with flying colours and then ever since that it's just been a downward spiral at rapid pace I mean they've only won two Premier League games since those first three games of the season they're last Premier League win came on the 5th of November a whole entire World Cup and a month after that has occurred since Leeds's last Premier League win and yet they've just been absolutely horrendous for the last few months now and for the majority of the season and which has got them of course only above the relegation zone on goal difference at this moment in time so like I said the writing was on the wall for Jesse Marsh as Leeds manager and I think it probably was or most definitely was the right decision and to be honest I was actually you know really considering doing a video on the whole Leeds United situation at this moment in time and obviously this uh, sacking of Jesse Marsh has given me a reason to do so and what I was going to say is I think Leeds United with the way they were going under Jesse Marsh were spiralling massively towards relegation I mean if you think of the relegation battle for me I think there's a little bit of a mini league outside of Bournemouth and Southampton who in my opinion sorry Bournemouth fans sorry Southampton fans I think they're both you know pretty much certainties in terms of the teams around them for relegation this season and when I say mini league I mean there's four or five teams in this you know little sort of mini league that I think are contenders for that final relegation spot which I think Leeds are well and truly part of I think Everton are in there Leicester, Wolves and West Ham as well I think and I think in terms of those five teams I think Leeds with the way they were going under Jesse Marsh were in my opinion anyway the most likely team to take that final spot of relegation especially given the fact that Everton have gone out and got themselves Sean Dyche because I thought Everton were in horrendous trouble before they got Sean Dyche and yeah I think Leeds were massively spiralling downhill to a rate where they probably would have been relegated this season if they didn't dismiss Jesse Marsh and I think the timing is very good in terms of the fact it gives the next manager to come in a good bit of time to you know scave off relegation and implement his system and try and get this team motivated and try and just get an instant reaction out of this team for the second half of the season and hopefully for Leeds' fans sakes beyond this season but yeah in terms of what next for Leeds in terms of the new manager uh, Marcelo Bielsa is currently the bookies favorite although it probably won't happen because Fabrizio Romano has just come out a matter of minutes ago and said that it is highly unlikely that Bielsa does go back which in my opinion would have been a ludicrous decision anyway I have seen as well somewhere that Mauricio Pochettino is fairly high up on the list of potential candidates for you know Jesse Marsh replacement at Leeds which I think would be a really good appointment in terms of how good a manager Pochettino is especially for that level my only concern would be is he equipped to you know manage a team in a relegation battle I'm not so sure I've also seen Ralph Hasenhutl linked as well obviously got dismissed by uh, Southampton there a few months ago who I actually think would be quite a decent appointment for the short term at least because I think given the players and the squad that Leeds have in terms of personnel I think Hasenhutl's style and brand of football would really suit them in terms of the high energy high tempo style of play that Hassan Hood likes to deploy and that's why I think that he probably would do a good job with Leeds but besides those two Carlos Corberan has been linked but will he leave West Brom he's only been there for a matter of minutes really if you think about it so who the new manager is going to be at Leeds remains to be seen of course but I think whoever takes over has a little bit of things to work with they've got some interesting things to work with because I think right in my opinion I think Leeds have got a decent squad for this level I think they've got a very good squad for this level I think there's a few parts missing in terms of I think their defense they're very gettable I think if Georgie you know, Ruthair doesn't turn out to be the striker that they paid 30 odd million for they could be in trouble in terms of where do they get their goals from because obviously Patrick Bamford is looking like he's a little bit past it this season but I think they've got massive potential in terms of midfield when you think of Tyler Adams, Weston McKenney, Mark Rocca, Brendan Aronson who yeah hasn't hit the ground running this season but is a very good young midfielder with potential. They've got very good wide players in terms of Gananto, Jack Harrison, Luis Sinistera of course they've got Rodrigo as well who can play pretty much anywhere in the front four positions and even though he's 
is injured at the moment will be a very important player for Leeds when he comes back. The only issue for me with Leeds is their defence. They leak too many goals and I think Pascal Strauch, he's not a left back, he's a centre back and they're kind of just waiting for Stuart Dallas to come back because Junior Firpo is not good enough for this level, I think it's fair to say. And that centre back, Liam Cooper, he's probably not equipped for this level at this moment in time now. I think Max Vauber looks like a decent enough signing but can he do it on his own? So overall I think there is a lot of potential to work with for the new manager that comes in to Leeds in terms of trying to keep them up but I just think there's a little bit of holes that need plugging and whether the new Leeds manager can you know plug those holes in such a short range of time will be another question for another day but um, yeah I do think to summarise that there is potential in this Leeds squad for the next manager that does come in and look I watched the Nottingham Forest game yesterday and in my opinion I think Leeds actually probably deserve to win the game in terms of the fact they've created loads of chances and that's the thing with Leeds they are creating chances they're just not clinical enough especially with Patrick Bamford like I mentioned there's massive pressure on Jorginho Rute if he doesn't deliver as I said so in my opinion I think it's very much a matter of you know the new manager coming in and just getting this Leeds team to click really to be honest and I think if they do I think they could be okay and as I said it will make the relegation battle extremely interesting because besides Southampton and Bournemouth now there's not going to be any outright favour to get relegated in that mini league that I did mention so I think it's going to you know make for a really really interesting and enticing and mouth-watering relegation battle for the second half of this Premier League season so yeah Leeds fans let me know in the comment section below have I hit the nail on the head with regards to my analysis about your club or am I talking absolute sh feel free to let me know in the comment section below and yeah leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it'd be massively massively appreciated as per usual it means more than you guys could ever imagine and also if you could subscribe to the channel as well that would be massively appreciated we have just hit 1.8k subscribers so we're going for 1.9k let's go and get it as soon as possible and yeah I will see you guys in my next video so yeah see ya